So the only way to eliminate adverse selection is to eliminate asymmetric information as much as possible. This is why insurance companies have moved away from simply having a form that must be completed by the applicants and toward requiring, for example, blood tests. As it turns out, people who smoke, drink, or perhaps use drugs recreationally tend to systematically under-report how much they smoke, drink, or use when they are simply asked. Also, as it turns out, most people have higher cholesterol than they might think, which leads to further complications down the road and can be detected by a simple blood test. Now, as a quick side discussion, people who are lying on their insurance forms almost certainly aren't lying as a means of trying to lower their insurance prices, but instead perhaps to save face or to avoid the potential of being judged from a moral perspective by the insurance company. This is referred to as social desirability bias, right? Alternatively, people might lie because they don't understand the question. Most people don't know, for example, that a can of beer, depending on its alcohol by volume, might actually count as two or even three drinks. Reporting that you have one beer might be accurate in terms of how many physical cans of beer you consume, but it is inaccurate in terms of how much alcohol is actually in your system. Blood tests, while potentially invasive, give a much better picture of the objective truths of these questions and help insurance companies determine a person's underlying risk characteristics much more accurately.